रिकर्शिव फंक्शन रिकर्शिव फंक्शन इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू विल लर्न टू क्रिएट ए रिकर्शिव फंक्शन ए फंक्शन दैट कॉल्स इट सेल्फ अगेन एंड अगेन इज नोन एज रिकर्शिव फंक्शन In Python, we know that function can call other functions. It is even possible for the function to call itself, and this is known as the recursive function. Now, understand the mechanism of recursive function. How it executes. So. first uh, we have to define the function as we define the function that is using the def keyword and then uh, the function is suppose the function is name is the recurse function and this recurse function will call itself now you can see that this uh, this is the main uh, program and uh, this program is calling this definition this function and this function executes some set of statements then again it is calling to itself so this will repeat again and again until certain condition is there to exit and uh, for the recursive function exit uh, exit condition is required otherwise it will repeat infinitely and uh, it will crash the cpu so this is the mechanism of a recursive function now uh understand this uh, through an example so now this function is uh, to calculate the factorial of uh, any number using the recursive function so the factorial uh, the it is starts with the def keywords and then the name of the function is factorial and x is the parameter for which the recursion and the factorial is required to be calculated so this is the exit condition if x becomes 1 then uh, this function will end otherwise this function will run infinitely and it will call the function uh, itself that is uh, x multiplied by the one lesser than the x so suppose the factorial of 5 is there then it will uh, call the <coughs> 5 into factorial of 4 then uh, <coughs> then the multiplication of the 5 into 4 that is the 20 of factorial 3 uh, then uh, then 20 into 3 that is the uh, <coughs> next uh, factorial value is required to be calculated so now understand this uh, with the other example so how the function is executing now you can see that suppose i want to calculate the factorial of 3 so you can see that the uh, the function is running like that 3 into factorial of 2 and then uh, the <coughs> first call is with the factorial 3 then second call is with the factorial 2 and then the third call is 3 into 2 and then factorial of 1 so in this way Uh, we are getting the three into two into one, so ultimately we are getting the uh, six. When the <coughs> factorial becomes one, then it ends. You can see that return from the third call, return from second call, and return from first call. So in this way, uh, for factorial of three, uh, this function is calling uh, the uh, first time. Uh, this is running factorial two, then factorial one. In this way, we are getting the function uh, factorial of uh, factorial. now understand this uh, program factorial recursive function an example to calculate the factorial number of factorial of a number using an <coughs> recursive function so this is the function definition so in the definition you can there uh, see that the definition is start with the def keyword and this is the name of the this is the name of this uh, function fact and uh, the, this is the parameter for which the factorial is required to be calculated 
so this is the exit uh, condition if the n uh, is uh, 1 then uh, the function uh, will return or uh, it will <coughs> end the function otherwise the function will call itself again and again repeatedly in finite time and this is the uh, statement and uh, this statement uh, is returning the value the factorial of n that is the previous value of n and uh, this function is again calling itself so if the factorial of uh, you have to calculate the factorial of 5 then it will calculate it will run like 5 into factorial of 4 into uh, 4 and then uh, 5 4 20 then factorial of 3 and then factorial of 2 and then when it comes to the 1 then it will end so this is the whole program and now run this program now suppose i want to calculate the factorial of 5 so this is the factorial of 5 now if you want to calculate for other number you, it can calculate any any <coughs> number factorial so suppose the calc uh, factorial of 9 so factorial of 9 is this and uh, if you uh, if i <coughs> want to for a very uh, big number then also it calculates that factorial so suppose factorial of 100 so this is a very big number so you can see so this uh, <coughs> this is the recursive function uh, the this <coughs> Now the difference between loop and recursive function. Recursive functions takes uh, more time to execute than the loops because the in the recursive function it uh, executes uh, the function again and again so the time complexity is more compared to the loops because loops is running in the same set of codes in the same place but uh, recursive function uses the uh, uh, sends the control uh, back and forth to the uh, to the uh, execution place so it takes more time compared to the uh, loops so if uh, if the function is very uh, small and uh, its repetition is lesser not very very uh, too much then uh, it is better to use uh, recursion then the loops <coughs>